All right, let's do it. This is a super exciting unboxing. This is the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. We've got the pink and the blue. I absolutely loved the pink and I absolutely loved the iPhone 15. And I even said at the Apple event that I even prefer the film of the iPhone 15 rather than the iPhone 15 Pro. These guys just, they just feel so good on the hands. So I'm super excited to finally be having them home to review them obviously in the channel. I think this pink iPhone 15 will probably be the most popular iPhone of the year. So anyways, let's start off unboxing the brand new iPhone 15. As you can see, we have the dynamic island now, which is super exciting. Boom, boom, and here we go. So you can see, it feels like a snowy iPhone. It feels like it just snowed with this frosted glass back. It just feels so incredibly good. Let's put that aside for just a second. I know, I know you're impatient. Hold on a second. I wanted to show you that we now get USB-C on the iPhone. Yes, Apple has changed the port on the iPhone. So you will need to charge it with a different port. Now, hold on. Those of you in the back that don't understand the power of USB-C, this is USB-C. And why it's a big deal, it's because all tech companies are agreeing with one single cable. So in the future, actually, in the present, we basically just need one cable to charge my Sony camera, my GoPro, my MacBook, my iPad. It's so cool that all of my tech accessories will be charged with one single cable. I am so incredibly happy about that. And then we got the design by Apple in California pamphlet. Here in Europe, we still need a SIM card. But for those of you from America, you guys will have an eSIM iPhone. So you won't need to, you know, to have an actual physical SIM card with it. And yes, we do get an Apple sticker with it made out of paper. By the way, what do you do with your with your Apple stickers? I've got so freaking many. Once again, this iPhone is truly something else. We do have the mute switch here. Still on the iPhone 15 Pro, it's been replaced with an action button. So yeah, that's still there. And there it is. That is the iPhone 15. Let's go ahead and boot it up. We got aluminum sides on the back. And then what's cool about the glass back is that it's not literally just an inked phone and then the glass reflects it. Literally the glass, this frosted glass back has been infused with the color of the actual phone. So it makes it have this really, really cool look. There's a lot to get excited about this phone, especially the dynamic island, USB-C, precision finding on people. I'll tell you a lot more about it once I actually set it up. Hey Barbie. Hello Ken. It is time to unbox the pink iPhone 15. It's the year of Barbie. It's the year of pink. So obviously Apple was very smart to be releasing the pink iPhone. This once again is my favorite iPhone out of the 15s. Even though I really like yellow, this pink one um, just really stands out from the crowd. Are you ready to see it? Yeah, are you sure? Drop, drop a like on the video first. Okay, you dropped it. All right, ready? One, two, and three. There it is. I mean, just look at this thing. I mean, come on. Can this thing be more cute with these aluminum sides that have a little bit more of a saturated pink? And then the back is totally non-saturated. Once again, this feel, this has to be one of the best looking iPhones ever. Let's go ahead and peel it off. I mean, just come on. I mean, aluminum sides, USB-C, dynamic island, pink. I mean, if you like pink, this is your iPhone. As you can see, we've officially set up the iPhone. These are the new wallpapers, by the way, and we press customize and tap here. We get a couple of different wallpapers. We get the black, we get the blue, the green, the yellow, and the pink, obviously all the colors of the new iPhone. So let's go ahead and swipe up. And I wanted to show you the dynamic island, first of all. As you can see, it's so useful. I've been using it on my iPhone 14 Pro for a year now, and there's so many apps, such as Flighty, for example, that take the full potential on having an actual dynamic island. As you can see, let's say I'm in a flight right now. I'm going to Seattle. So where am I going? Washington. So if I swipe up, you'll see that the dynamic island grows. If I tap inside of the dynamic island, I can see that I'm running maybe three minutes late, one hour and 40 minutes until gate arrival. So there's so many different use cases for the dynamic island. If I tap on Olivia Rodrigo's latest album, for example, and swipe up, so you can see Olivia is now living inside of the dynamic island. I can tap and skip a song. 
if I want directly from the dynamic island. Let's go ahead and let me tap on timer, for example. Let me create a timer, 15 minutes, counting. So you can see the dynamic island now grew and now, now I now have the music and the timer all in one. So yeah, once again, I've been using the dynamic island for the longest time and it is so freaking useful. And by the way, if you don't know what kernel is, the camera also gets upgrades on the iPhone 15. As you can see, we get times five, times one, and we also get times two. And it's crazy to think about that because we've only got two lenses. We've got an ultra wide and a wide, but the wide lens actually optically has a times two now, which is crazy. You know, this was a feature that I always wanted because one of the downside on using a non-pro model was not having able to zoom optically, we now have that. Probably my favorite feature about the new iPhone 15 and the 15 Pro is the ability to take non-portrait mode photos and actually turn them into portrait mode. As you can see, this is a new photo shot on the iPhone 15 and we've got this f-stop right here. So if we tap on edit and tap on portrait, this is new setting right here, we can actually turn a non-portrait mode photo into portrait mode. How awesome is that? Something that I'm curious about that I didn't ask about this at the Apple event is, is a non-iPhone 15 photo? No. Okay, so only photos that you've captured with your iPhone 15 will be compatible with this new portrait mode setting. So you have to take it. So as you can see, these are photos that I took on my iPhone um, 14 Pro and they are not available within this portrait. So you have to take photos Something cool to know. All right, so there you have it. That's the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. If you want to know more about the iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max or the Apple Watch Series 9, you can tap both of these videos right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Like these next videos. Come on. You're, you're getting on my nerves now. Can you tap? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.